This uh, track, I'm going to have another go at defrosting. I'm determined to find out a way of defrosting traps once they're frozen. Although, as I've said many times, uh, it's best to avoid them freezing in the first place. Okay, it's got fairly hard surface. It's not as frozen as the other samples we've uh, tested. The uh, underlying layer of that sand is only just above freezing point. We've taken the other samples quite a lot colder. So uh, if we can't defrost this, then we might as well give up altogether. Um, I'm going to try a slightly different approach with this as well. I'm going to sprinkle sand on the surface there to make um, the usual sort of 5% salt solution there if we've got the usual 25% uh, of weight of sand as water, which uh, seems to be the one thing with this sand that is pretty consistent. Whatever we do, whenever we add water and allow sand to drain, we always end up with about 25% by weight um of water in the sand so okay again quite a lot of sand don't forget that equates i think if i remember rightly to about one and a half kilos per square meter of track i'm going to try a slightly different approach again i'm going to put water on but i'm only going to sprinkle a bit of water on there i'm not going to uh, pour a lot of water on like we have with the previous samples okay now i'm not going to hammer that i'm going to try the approach of uh, applying pressure First, so that we can try and work the sand into the surface but more importantly when we're applying pressure there we're moving the sand grains of sand in relation to each other and um, creating a bit of friction when we do that friction generates heat you can see the sand is soft in the middle there as I say this is a slightly unfair comparison to the previous test because we've um, not frozen the sample so hard it is only just around about the freezing point or just a little bit lower on the surface now in practice of course you would have a few hours to do this uh, so we're perhaps being slightly unfair and we may do a test at some point where uh, we um, actually try and do this over a few hours and see how we get on. Another sprinkling of water, but it is only a sprinkling. We hardly put any water on there at all. But just a little bit. Don't forget this water is actually warm. That's actually been standing overnight. So it is 20 degrees again. Water that you were using in real life wouldn't actually be that warm. Okay. Let's try and work that into the surface now. And again, don't forget the other aspect of this test that makes it... Uh, not particularly realistic is that the sand is now in a room that's uh, out of the freezer into a room of about 20 degrees the air temperature over the sand is 20 degrees that's going to help this and make the job look a bit easier than perhaps it otherwise would be so this is just an idea really um, I'm open to any suggestions anyone's got any ideas as to how you defrost a track again just to re-emphasize you better not to let it freeze in the first place. And don't forget that takes quite a lot of sand. 1.5 kilos per square meter of track. Okay. So I think that figure's actually wrong. It's 1.5 kilos per meter of track. I think I'll have to check that. And if you assume the track is 3.6 meters wide. Do that for a second, just check those figures actually because I can't remember them myself.